What's happening, party people? It's Mocha. If you got him, season three, we're back. We are back. And uh, here's the deal. Rules remain the same. You got to have your numbers ready. So two joins ready because we're going to spark one up, listen to the record, flip it over, spark another one up, and finish that album out. And as usual, it is my pleasure to introduce the man with the plan, the Oxford County Oracle, Jeremiah Charlton. I am the Oracle of Oxford County, you simpleton. I like that better. You fool! I'm I'm deep. I'm deep, and it's been two joints already, man. It's no problem. We've been off for a long time, folks. We forgot who we were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At the same time, though, like, uh, what is time? Time is nothing. The time is all made up. It's a construct. Also, yeah. so is money, even though we are slaves to both. So catch uh, catch the fine, the fine, intelligent fans of Smoking Movie God. What, what you've been up to? I figured after that statement, we should let them know that this has now become a philosophy uh, podcast and no longer a music podcast. And- yeah, thanks for joining <laughs> us, kids. <laughs> Clean your room. Clean your room. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine, yo, like you turn around and it's just uh, self-help the whole way through. We just read oh, 42 no. Laws of yeah, Power. No. Bro, quit that shit. All quit of a sudden, when shit. Gary Vandertruck's on the podcast with us. Oh, what if I, you know, he's got that weird ass head that I can't get over. He's got some good intentions, but that head serious, is crazy. Serious heat for that person, but yeah. yeah. Let's go on. Today, we're listening to the band Alcatraz, and the album is called Vampire State Building, and the album cover is real cool. The album cover is super cool. Now, please, people, this is not the hair metal rock awesome band Alcatraz. Don't be fooled. This is 1970. German. This, yeah, here you go. And uh, and it's and it's a journey. We're going to kick off season three. This is this is really good. Um, so I'm ready. If you're ready, you want to lead this in. What 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 are they supposed to do? You're supposed to put down your phones. You're supposed to to stop with the everyday hustle bustle of life. If you live in the United States, don't worry that you're on the verge of a basically race war slash ah. pandemic slash all the above. Don't worry about that. No problem. For the next uh, 35 to 45 minutes, just listen to this album and come back and we'll talk about it. Alcatraz 71. Figure it out. It's everywhere. Let's do it. Vampire State Building. Look it up, folks. Smoke if you got them. Wow. Well, well, well. What a, what a, what a fine way to open up Alcatraz. Germany, what the fuck's going on with y'all? This is uh, this is a cool album. I like it a lot from the get go. So I picked this one on purpose because last week time we talked, you said you want to kick it off with German and the kraut rock. And I thought, what is the least sounding kraut rock band from Yo, Germany? Yo, that is true. And this band sounds English. Wild, like, that's right. It does soft, not sound like that. You know, soft point. Machine. Yeah, like it, it's very uh, jazz rock fusiony at times. Oh yeah, um, bluesy. So, what? What was your initial thoughts of the album? I uh, I was in. I was in because we took a little break, right? And I wanted that to cleanse the palate. So Germany choosing that was the whole point of like, all right, let's sit on down and hear some some of this style of music. And so I was um, I was in the first time that I heard the flute with the guitar kind of vibe off a little bit, you know, in terms of harmony. I was like, all right, this is going to be interesting. If 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 the if the normalcy of the first track would have kept on going for 30 seconds more, it would have been a different conversation. But it switched to the right spot, you know? It does not – you're totally right. It does not sound crowd rocky at all. No, this is an interesting time because I think it's recorded in, in 70, obviously. And the band started in 69, and they were like a cover band. Um, ah. But they were – but they were doing like uh, uh, not typical cover band songs, you know. Like this I band can't... probably killed the Beatles, yo. What are you talking? About? They, they were, no, they were doing like Vanilla Fudge, and they were doing like Ten Years After. Mm. So they were sort of like blues, a little bit experimental blues, and you can sort of hear that a little bit in the guitar playing. Yeah. Uh, to me, this is a very of the time sound. Okay, one hundred percent. Now, some people can say that's a negative, and at times it can be. I'm not going to say it's a negative, but uh, it's interesting because I, I hear a lot of things. I hear youth, 
Yeah, yep. youthful players that are trying to play above themselves, which again is not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, but you sort of hear it in execution. Um, but they're trying to break out of those regular ideas. That's a really that's a really good concept though, because they even though they are punching up, um, they're kind of holding their ground. It does sound it's got that bravado punk music. It feels fresh and, and, and aggressive at times, even though it's good. Uh, so, yeah, youthful and, 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 you know, almost militant in what they're trying to get at, right? It's an interesting mix. Like, you, you hear, like, uh, Santana. Obviously, oh. I'm not talking. Right. You're not, yeah, not like the Latin aspect, but like the guitar and, and the jammy aspect of the time. Especially this, so so this one of the coolest things about uh, all the records we've been listening to and all this on Spoken We Got Him is like you get to see so many different shades. And this, even though it's Germany um, and it's crowd rock and all that, it reminded me a lot of the of the East Bay area, San Francisco, and the jam bands, right? So Santana's right there. That makes perfect sense, and we would both be talking about the same thing, here. right? Because I hear a mixture of I hear the time. I just hear the time when I hear the music, yeah, because I hear the psychedelia. I hear the uh, the blues rock that was going on. I hear the jazz of the time. The way that the record is put together, too, like in terms of the mixing, is very much of the time. Like you get you get like a left side heavy compression sound, and then your right side is just reverb and, and that sort of stuff. So yeah, it is very much a snapshot of the time. But uh, did you have any any tracks that stood out for you uh, on this on this side? Because track two for me like really got me going. Yeah, I like track two more than than track one. Um, yeah. But I'm ready to flip this bad boy over. Let's fuck this bitch up, folks. Yo. So, guys, here's the deal. Yeah, do it. Uh, it's time for number two. Uh, well, I don't have enough time. I don't, we don't have any time to hear that. We've already been doing this for you. It's season three. If you don't do this with, what the hell are you doing with your life? Put down the phone. Alcatraz 71. Look it up. You know what it is. Spark that bitch up. Smoke it. And, uh, you know, let's do the record. Let's go, folks. Let's do it. Smoke if you got him. And we're back, and we're back, Alcatraz, and we're back. Alcatraz, Alcatraz, this fucking side made me weep. Now this business picked up, as they say. Shut this fucking thing down, Jeremiah. What the fuck is this side too, bro? As soon as the drum solo happened... The band caught fire and it just stayed on fire. It's it's a side. Uh, this side is so much better than side one. Stutz left the fucking barn on fire. It was impressive. Uh, peek behind the curtain. We were listening. We were, I was listening to this album. I stopped it halfway, and uh, Jeremiah were talking on the phone, and and he goes, "Hey, where where did you leave off? Uh, are you by the?" Uh, have you gone past the drum solo or not? And I said, you know, I, I don't think so. It was literally, I stopped it at the first note of the drum solo. I come back to it. It took me literally two seconds to understand when he said, it's going to blow your fucking mind. This record, this side of this album, you know, way more ambitious than the first. Side. Yes. Sounds like a different band though. Yep. I, I, I say all the things that are valid in terms of what I said. It, it still sounds of the time. Very but much. they just it just sounds better like they sound like they're playing better the ideas are um are more complex ideas and they're playing the ideas better the guitar player sounds better maybe they played a couple of weddings and had some uh, had some <laughs> uh, cheese in their pocket they they took some some ladies down at some formal event and they came back the next day and said fuck these cover tunes we're going to do this uh what was your favorite part the whole th- well, so as soon as the drum solo kicks in, whatever that first movement is, the one that stood out the most to me. There were times that it reminded me a lot of Beefheart. Okay, and um, and there were uh, also times that because of the time, as you're saying, it's so well put. Uh, because of time, it reminds me of same era Crimson, uh, the busyness of the drums, um, the uh, overhype playing of the 70s comes through but it really doesn't hurt what's happening in the music right the content of the album alcatraz is putting out like a full sound that really feels cool as shit and i love every time the flute comes in throughout these jams uh, as we're walking out of this record uh the flute really brings in a, a cool quality to it it could be real fucking cheesy but it ain't uh this album is not cheap either 
Not cheap. Mm. Not cheap. What's what's the market going? What's the market uh, going? For? Well, I see the most expensive. Now, give me stats though. So, so it's German original pressing. German original pressing. Right. The most expensive one I see on Discogs is twelve hundred euros. Oh. Looks like the average price is like three hundred and fifty bucks. There's there's demand for this album. I wonder by any chance how much uh, how many albums were were made. Do we I know, know that? What's funny is it's on Phillips, which is obviously a major label. That is a major label. It, it's such a cool album cover, though. But the whole the concept of the record, the band. It doesn't the sound like the work. album cover, though. Like the album cover is more Not like like a cool. This could be like the band that opens up for the New York Dolls. Like if you if you <laughs> said like that album cover is is yeah, you're ready yeah. like you're getting definitely... you're getting blowjobs it's a party like this is not ju- oh for sure this is not for sure I I wonder if uh, the way that they got presented originally when Phillips put them down because it's such a daring choice for Phillips to go hey we're gonna put this band out right um, I wonder if uh, they heard them under different with a different sound just because for us even for you and I when we were listening to this side A is so different than side B. Um, it almost sounds like a different uh, band. I wonder if what they presented was different, and that's what the album or was based off of. And like I said, they went off the Richter scale at a party and just turned into this other thing. I don't. I have no idea. I just. I just know that it's cool. I want that album cover. It's cool shirt. Make me that shirt. Yo, that yeah, that would look great. That would look good. Get myself a little fitted. hot got goth girlfriend with that shirt. Yeah, you need that in your life. We all need we all that. Need that. Let me let me ask you she let me ask you something. Too. Um yeah, she does. Uh did this band do anything else? Not no. <laughs> yeah. There it is. No. They really they they went for now, you know, seventy one, it's not easy to get on Phillips records. I mean, Phillips is usually known for not this sort of uh material, so I'm sure they had fuck all idea on how to sell them to people. It was a cool name alcatraz is a cool name you got that you, cool name you got a cool album uh name on top of it great great album name great great cover. cover so like really i feel that they let them down because they had everything that could sell besides they had no sig- wait, 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 no wait, signal wait, wait. single though no single at wait, all you're saying you're saying that the music industry let a fucking creative band down how fucking dare no you? well you know, it's just it's it's so marketable. That that's such a marketable co- that's you, such sir. a marketable cover, though. Well, I agree with you. Uh, Seventy one would disagree with you in radio. If anybody put this, it was definitely freak out time. Yeah, but... that's the thing is, there's no short songs in terms of like there's nothing catchy at all. Even, no, even, even on the no. first side, it is simpler. It's more psychedelic, um, but it's still not. But catchy you still at all. have to roll on through these four or five cuts to get to like a place where you can be like, oh, this is all right. Yeah, nothing's catchy. Nothing is uh, real in the ears. No, but that B side, uh, especially if you Drop went down the you. rabbit hole with us. Yes. Oh, that was Greg Anya style. Like that, that knocked me out. Knocked me off my feet. Um. So where are we going? So where are we my, going? Th- so here's so here's my thought for tomorrow. I want to go back uh, to the Asian continent, but I want to go India. I want to go India. Okay. Can we find something? In that world, because see, last time was such a, and if you haven't heard that, by the way, you know, our last episode, Guru Gypsy. We, we cataloged all the shit Guru Gypsy took one. it home. Okay? Yeah, both of ours. Number one. Yeah, all over. Trumped everything else. So, uh, yeah, let's let's see what we can find over there. And, uh, folks, uh, you know, we appreciate the subscriptions. You guys have been going crazy listening to all this stuff. Shout out to the Reddit family who knows how to hold it down. Um we're going to be doing this on a weekly basis, as you already know, with the little preview that we talked about before. So catch up on the video content, and uh, we'll catch you up uh, next week. Correct. Smoke them if you got them. Smoke them if you got them. Peace. Later.